Welcome back to another video. Do a quick little walkthrough of the bike first before we take off. Got the Baja set up in the front. Woof! Looking good. Yes, 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 yes. All right, we got a nice chilly day out here in dirty Jersey today. High of 40 degrees. How I miss those uh, warm summer days. All right, so today I wanted to talk about how much is a Rogue Glide out the door. Now I'm gonna use my Rogue Glide here as an example. I'm gonna give you the actual numbers that I paid for the bike, my monthly payment, and everything that was in my deal when I first got this bike. I've had this bike for over two years now. It is now December of 2023. I purchased the bike in the spring of 2021 so almost three years this springtime is going to be three years with this motorcycle we have made a lot of memories on this bike spent a lot of money with upgrades and all that good stuff so that's another thing that you should kind of factor in when looking into a motorcycle in particular this one or any other bagger compared to soft tails your upgrades your parts are going to cost a lot more than on those bikes. For some reason, parts on these bikes are just more expensive. There's so much traffic everywhere. All the roads down by the river around my house are all flooded. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot, Mother Nature. So now all the side roads are all packed up. Anyways, so I bought this bike back in 2021 of spring, like I was saying. Out the door, out the door, the whole total number was $32,000 on this Road Glide Special. Now, you could be paying a lot more, you could be paying a lot less. There's a few things that you got to factor in, think about. First of all, let's talk about the model which you're going to get, right? Because there's different pricing. There's the Road Glide Standard. There's the Road Glide Special, which is this one here. There's the Road Glide ST, and then the CVO model. Or if you want to look at a limited, then that one as well. So five different options right there. Each and every one of them, it's going to be a different price. Now, after you pick the model you want, you also got to think about color because different colors are gonna come with a cost now for years and years and decades we all know that vivid black is always a flat color they're not gonna charge you extra for that color well until now because now for 2024 they are gonna charge you more if you want vivid black now price on that um you're maybe looking at three four or five hundred dollars extra i'm not sure i know for soft tails is around three and change i believe for baggers, you're probably looking at maybe like four and change, maybe 500, who knows. Um, so any other color besides the base, you're looking at around $500, right? Now, if you want a two-tone color paint, like the one I have here, I believe the price on this paint might've been like $1,100 or $1,200. I try to find the actual price and I'll post it up right here for you guys if I find it. But let's just say it was another $1,200 just for this two-tone paint job, which is absolutely beautiful. I, I love this two-tone paint job. I think it looks awesome. It definitely stands out from the crowd. So, yes, I opted out to pay more for this. So, adding that to the top. Now, this being a special, the retail, the ticket price on this bike was $26,999, if I'm not mistaken. So, $27,000. Add an additional $1,100 or $1,200 to that for the paint. Now, adding on top of that, I got the wheel and tire protection, which I live in the tri-state area. If you live anywhere in Jersey, New York, or Connecticut, you know that the roads are trash. And trust me, I, I strongly advise you, I recommend it. If you're going to get a bike, get the wheel and tire protection if you live in around the tri-state area. It's totally worth it. I got gap insurance as well. Um, so that's more money right there on top. 
don't remember exactly how much the gap insurance was but it, it it all gets totaled in now you're gonna be sitting in that dealership and then they're gonna try to sell you on other incentives like extended warranty which i didn't get they're gonna try to sell you on some paint coating and this and that i didn't get that amongst a ton of other stuff which they're gonna tell you to buy there totally up to you on what you want to get on your bike um i only chose the things that I knew were going to be valuable to me. So after taxes and everything, this bike out the door was $32,000. Taxes, fees, wear and tire protection. Uh, and yeah, and then obviously the paint extra for the two-tone paint job. That's how much it is. It could have been cheaper. It could have been more. Depending on the dealership where you're at, that's also going to change as well. They could be charging you less. They could be giving you a deal. They could be charging over MSRP. Who knows? All dealerships are different. Depending on the time, on the economy, things can easily vary. Um, depending on where you live at, that can also vary. But my bike out the door is $32,000. Um, I'm going to be very, very open with you guys transparent and honest here my monthly payment is five hundred dollars now that can also vary with your interest so depending on your credit your payment could be higher could even be lower so that was with a 12 percent i think it was 12 percent which puts me at five hundred dollars and i did that for 72 months when i did the deal at first um with the idea to refinance the bike later on because i do not want to wait 72 months paying that amount of money because i'm gonna be ended up paying a lot more than <laughs> thirty-two thousand dollars. so i am gonna be refinancing the bike if i don't do some crazy shit and trade it in for another bike or whatever or sell it who knows? I'm, I'm always going or thinking about crazy shit. But if I do decide to keep it, I'm going to refinance it, right? Get myself a cheaper payment. Drop the months down as well. And we'll see how that works out. But $32,000 is what I got this bike out the door for. Um, I didn't put anything down either. So if you're going to ask me, well, how much did you put down? I absolutely nothing. You know what I put down? My taxes. That's it nothing extra nothing more nothing less i just put down my taxes I, I never really put down any money i just pay my taxes and that's it and i'm out the door um if you have money to put down then obviously that's going to help you a lot more so if you're able to put down five or eight thousand dollars on a price point like this yeah that that's gonna that's gonna change your payment so if you do have the money saved up and you want to put it towards uh, a down payment on a motorcycle then for sure that that'll bring the payment down um i just wasn't trying to do that i was you know doing other stuff with my money but um yeah i mean i i would recommend putting something down for sure um if you want to get the lowest payment as possible um you know having good credit is a plus putting down a down payment is also a plus that's all going to help you out that's all going to be beneficial to you um i hope that i was able to maybe answer some questions that you guys out there may have for those of you guys who are out there in the market shopping right now it is december the 2024 models all the baggers are going to be rolling out next month so if you are thinking about getting a new motorcycle at the moment or maybe the springtime or even the summertime coming up i hope this video will help you or give you some type of sanity at times I wish I had put down money for this because my payment would have been a lot cheaper um, and not $500 a month, which is more than my car payment. And I'm not rich or huge like some of these other YouTubers where I'm able to just to uh, buy a bike cash out the door. Um, I'm an average person who makes her monthly payments and has an average life. That's it. <laughs> um, that's going to be it, guys. Till the next one. We got some other stuff coming down the pipeline. 
Now, if you're also like me and a bunch of my friends and you like customizing your bike, then you're gonna be spending a lot of money on parts and accessories. You're gonna have to budget that in. Somehow think about how much money you're gonna be putting aside for such and such thing because we start with one accessory to another and another and then later on you're like fifteen thousand dollars in in parts and accessories and you're like whoa where did all that money go i'm like oh it, yeah that and this and that and that adds up to this and there's labor charges and just a lot of stuff so um think about that as well when you're going to be purchasing your bike um what are you going to get what do you think or planning on getting um it, it all it all it all comes on all together man anyways i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace